It is now my honor to introduce the Honorable Madeleine K. Albright, the 64th Secretary of State. And the shortest Secretary of State. Uh, thank you very much, Under Secretary Kennedy and uh, Ambassador Bagley. And as I look out at the audience, there's so many friends and so many colleagues and so many of you that have really participated in what is America's great gift, our diplomacy. And I'm delighted to be here. I served as Secretary of State at a time when America was working to articulate a new foreign policy strategy that after the end of the Cold War would reflect what our position was as the world's uh, sole remaining superpower. And we all are unbelievably, as you will listen to us, very clear about how much, how honored and grateful we were to serve as Secretary of State and to sit behind that sign that said United States. And I speak for Henry and myself as two immigrants who made it. And so I think there's no way to really capture what it's like to represent this amazing country. Uh, we knew at the time of the end of the Cold War that it wouldn't be possible to leverage our strength and solve every international crisis. But we did have a newfound responsibility to take the lead in resolving the most pressing issues of the day. And that's why I prioritize the promotion of core values such as democracy and human dignity, as well as the development of robust civil societies around the world. I also devoted a considerable amount of energy to strengthening our humanitarian assistance efforts and to ensuring the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons with the former Soviet republics. America, as the world's indispensable nation, does have a duty to engage on issues essential to the peace and prosperity of all global citizens. And I was very proud to listen to President Obama today in Estonia uh, really saying how we had to defend our allies and our values. The promotion of our core American values still rings true today, and they are featured in one of the center's main exhibits entitled Dem Diplomacy is Our Mission. And this exhibit will showcase the heart and soul of diplomacy, the work we do to encourage peace and prosperity, democracy, and development. Through examples that illustrate our tireless efforts on issues such as civilian security, good governance, energy, the environment, and gender equality. In other words, the USDC will present the State Department as an operational organization. Our people are not stuck in offices or forts. They are out in the field every day, participating in provincial reconstruction teams, meeting with activists, and doing hands-on work. And so through the USDC, the American public will be able to see what its government is doing around the world and how it connects uh, with what happens here at home. The concept of the museum was originally proposed to me while I was Secretary of State. And I, I just thought it was a no-brainer to think that we needed to do this, and we hired a museum curator to renovate an exhibit space within what we had renamed the Harry S. Truman Building, and it was viewable uh, only to employees and other cleared visitors to the building, and we thought, why are we keeping these amazing artifacts to ourselves? And we should be sharing them with the public and using them to inform visitors about the fundamental role of the, that the State Department has played and continues to play around the world. And I immediately uh, said that this was great, uh, that it would be a museum and an education center that would do exactly that. And this day has been a long time in making, and I believe uh, that what we started in 1999 was one of the best initiatives that we took. And I applaud everybody that has been involved with this. Uh, and I think that it really is time uh, to share what diplomacy has achieved and is achieving every day for Americans. And so it's a story that deserves to be told. And the U.S. Diplomacy Center is the ideal place to tell it. And as a professor, I am going to get my students over here to really watch and do the simulation. So I'm delighted and very honored to have been there uh, when we started this project. And I will be there uh, when it's over. Thank you very much. <laughs> 